welcome back to my channel now i don't know about you guys but i'm a huge fan of the bridgerton series on netflix and when lady charlotte came out i immediately watched it i think it was queen charlotte so i wanted to find some amazing books that resonated with the same kind of ambience and also the storylines and whatsoever and i tried and found these amazing books that i wanted to share with you guys so let's get right into it so i am going to start off with the lex croucher series now this series has three books so far reputation trouble and one more and this follows a girl called georgina elters and she is um orphaned and sent to live with her aunt and uncle and her aunt and uncle live as part of this super elite high society just like um in bridgerton so she goes and lives with them and then she meets this amazing gentleman and they fall in love it's a rom-com but it's like set in the regency era it's got everything that you can think of it's got mysterious young men debaucheries murders um something mysterious happening around her so it's always great to follow this kind of a storyline back in the regency era it's just beautiful and this is so far it is a trilogy so if you are into books like that then you should definitely check this out the next book that i would like to recommend is the anna godberson series so there are four books here and the first book is the looks and uh, there are four more books which are having just as gorgeous covers i mean i literally just bought these books for the covers but the books in itself are like amazing so we follow here um two sisters and their whole um life in manhattan in the 1800s so they are from the upper east side 1800s there's lots of parties and dances and uh temptations and scandals and everything that you can think of including forbidden love so it's kind of like gossip girl but set like in um 1800s and that is why i love this book it's slow it's beautiful you would love all of these characters and it has everything that you can want from a book that's based in the 1800s the next set of books that i want to recommend is the gossip girl series so essentially the previous uh, recommendation was the gossip girl series except that it was set in the 1800s whereas this one is set more in the recent past so we follow all of these high schoolers from the upper east side and this takes place in i don't know early 2000s so it's not exactly bridgerton ish in the past but it feels like it is exactly that but happens in the future So if you haven't read this book or seen the series then this follows uh, Serena Vanderwatsen and Blair Waldorf and they are two best friends who are living their life in the upper east side and all of their um, friends and boyfriends and relationships and scandals and uh, lies and I don't know just about everything that you can think of as well just like the previous book so i would highly recommend this if you're into something just fun and breezy and scandalous and treacherous and you just want something very clicky then definitely go for this series there are lots of books in the series i think there's at least 20 or 30 of them that's because it's just like an ongoing series about the lives of these girls so um and i don't think you necessarily need to read them in order unlike the other series so you can just pick up any gossip girl book and just get right into the story so that's why i love this book and it's not overly thick or anything it's really thin so it's great for like beginners who just want to get into the genre so i highly recommend this so the next book that i'm going to recommend is by sophie owen and this is a lady's guide to scandal so this is the second book in the lady's guide series there is a lady's guide to fortune hunting and then this is the second book they're all in the same um genre so you can go one by one but basically um this book follows um a girl named eliza who is a heroine and she is married to the earl and then she gets widowed and then finally she decides that she's going to come back to bath and she is going to live her life in her own terms so she has everything a title and estate um money everything that she could think of but what she was looking for is basically love so this is a, a beautiful story following eliza what i liked about it is 
although it's set like a wave in the past and it has still follows all of those titles and um danes and lords and earls and everything um it just still feels very uh, warm and close to heart so i really enjoyed this book there's not so many scandals or treachery or debauchery that you're expecting to see in this book that you probably would have seen in the other books but it's still a great read and it's beautiful to just uh, get into that landscape go for a promenade is just brilliant so that is why i will highly recommend this book the next book or series that i would like to recommend is the secret scientists of london by elizabeth everett and the first book the ladies formula for love so again this is set in the victorian era so we follow lady violet hughes and she is a scientist she is titled she is everything that you could ask for from a lady back in like the 1800s or 1900s but she has a secret and that is she has founded a society for scientists women in london and i love this story because this not only um, touches upon everything that we generally see from like a bridgerton point of view but this also has a lot of uh, feminism attached to it because um back in the 1900s it was really difficult to find women scientists obviously so when our lady she sets up this whole secret society for scientists and um she is, has her, her own lab where she does experiments and mixes chemicals i thought it was just brilliant so this is a great read if you are into a little bit of um a touch of i don't know intelligence uh within the whole um victorian era so that's another great series if you're trying to look for something in this line so the next book that i'm going to recommend is mackenzie lee's a uh, series of books and the first book in this is called the gentleman's guide to vice and virtue and what i love about this book is that it is a beautiful journey of self learning and improvement so we follow our main protagonist henry montagu or monty who actually is brought up and born and bred in one of the finest um, uh, elitist schools in london but what happens is he leaves and he wants to go on a tour of europe so he sets a foot on this journey for self um growth and then um through the course of his journey he actually ends up getting uh, into trouble for something reckless and so we follow his all all of his um, turbulences and troubles that he goes through in this journey i thought that this book was very beautiful because um it's um it's very enlightening as well as it's set in the past and it's just beautiful to go in this journey with monty so i will highly recommend this book as well so the next book that i'm going to recommend is an amazing book and this is the mad girls of new york by maya rodel this is again another series it's called the nelly bly series because we follow nelly bly who is a reporter back in the 1800s in new york city and she is a hardcore journalist and what she uh, wants to do is pick up an assignment which every other person fears to pick up and that is go to one of the horrific mental asylums in new york and learn about what is happening there so she uh, finds out that no reporter can get inside this asylum so there's no way she can report it unless she uh, feigns insanity so she commits gets herself committed in this asylum and what she learns happens in that place is horrific beyond words so i um, recommend this book because it's not just about societies and uh scandals and everything that you see in a normal bridgerton ala book but this has a lot of um not just a drama uh, part of it but also a lot of story and empathy and enlightenment and stuff you can learn and thought provoking so i really recommend this book as well the next series of books that i'd like to recommend is the tirza price um series and this um, first book is called pride and premeditation and then we have mansfield park so basically all of these books follow the jane austen's murder mysteries um the jane austen's mysteries 
except that there is a murder mystery that's involved in each of these books. So the reason why I love it is because if you lock any Jane Austen book, then this retelling kind of a sort where a mystery happens and then you end up going to solve it. It's also very interesting and, and intriguing. So if you if you love the Jane Austen series books, then you will definitely have to take a look at this series. So the next book that I would like to recommend is the Lisa Kipas series and the first book is Secrets of a Summer Night. This is the Wallflower series and uh, this is just a beautiful uh, drama that unfolds back in the 1800s. So um, it's about four girls and everything that they go through in a ballroom. So everything that essentially starts in a ballroom so meeting young gentlemen and their relationships with these gentlemen and whether these gentlemen are actually nice or they're a little bit wicked what what they learn about these men so it's mostly a take on the coming out in the um 1800s for women when they um, are open to society and everything that they have to go through and everybody they meet during this journey of theirs so I really like this because it kind of opens your eyes towards what actually happens in those times and um, I love that the take also involves drama and decisions that these women have to make. So yeah, this is another great read and I think this is also part of a series so it should be a good series. So there you go, those are all my recommendations for books that are pretty similar to Bridgerton and Queen Charlotte. So if you enjoyed any of these books or plan to pick up any of these books, do let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and I will see you in another video. Bye.